chickens are my first love when it comes to homesteading. The moment we bought this house, we got to work building this coop and I'm so grateful to have the space to raise our own chickens. If you're new to chickens, you'll get familiar with how important it is to refresh and clean their coop. Things get dusty and messy and need to be spruced up every once in a while. The deep litter method has been working extremely well for us these past three years. Since it's such low maintenance, we can simply add pine shavings twice a year. We also decided to repurpose an old shelf we had in the house to make a new nesting space for the girls. I think they're gonna love it. So we need about one box for every four to five hens and each box should be about 14 by 14 by 14 or 12 by 12 by 12. So we have, we're gonna have three spacings in here, three little cubbies for them. So that should be good for all the girls. I wonder how they're gonna act when we put this in there. Our spoiled little girls. So this is our feeding situation. We put the feed in here and I have some oyster shells down there and I keep any spare pine shavings in the back here. This also needs to get <laughs> refreshed as well. So I'm going to take out the food in here, um, kind of like clean out this galvanized tin. And I just, when I put the food into here, a uh, little pro tip, do not dump the food directly into the, the tin because if you dump the food directly into the tin, it's just going to go bad. It's going to get all moldy and gross. Trust me, I've learned from experience. So when you get your food, make sure that you keep the food in the bag. Adding straw to the nesting boxes is going to be the perfect solution to keep the girls nice and warm on those cold winter mornings. Your nap. Your nap. First, I don't know if you can fit in there. She's eyeing it up, right? Yeah. 